Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a relatively easy project. This is really good for 4th of July or any other holiday. You can use this to decorate tiered trays. We're going to make a stack of patriotic books. I'm starting with a wooden crate from Dollar Tree, some red, white, and blue paints, as well as some browns and blacks to mix in because I want a little bit darker colors. I'm using this beaded uh, floral garland from Dollar Tree. I got it last fall, but I know they carry them all the time, just maybe not in that red color. Those bamboo skewers and these sticky uh, wall tiles are also from Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree stickers from Christmas time that I had saved. Don't even worry if you don't have them because I end up not using them in the end. So I'm going to start by removing the sticker off of the little crate and I'm going to mix up these paints to make them a little bit darker and more rustic colors. The garden shears that you see in my hand I'm going to use to be cutting those bamboo skewers later. If you work with a lot of popsicle sticks or these little skewers or some smaller dowel rods I highly recommend investing in a good pair of garden shears rather than just a pair of scissors because the garden shears are actually designed to cut through small branches and wood whereas scissors you're going to dull the blades a lot faster and it's going to be a lot harder on your hands trying to cut through them. So now I'm going to take and mix up my different paints. I am going to take my white and make it more of sort of a cream or an eggshell color, like off-white. I don't want it really, really bright. So I just mixed in a little bit of caramel colored paint and all of this paint is just apple barrel paint, the little 50 cent containers from Walmart. Nothing super fancy. I'm gonna put a little bit of black into the red and the blue to make them a little more dark. And you may have to play around with your colors a little bit and just keep mixing until you get them where you want them. I know on this red I was not happy at first, so I ended up mixing it a little bit more red. Still wasn't satisfied. I was going for more of like a brick or a maroon color. It was still just a bit too dark for me. It looked a little more brown than it did red, so I ended up putting in a couple drops of white, and that got me to the shade of red that I was going for. And then the blue ended up being just fine with the one drop of black. I know it looks really dark on camera, but you'll see once I start painting it on the crate, it is actually like a really nice navy blue. And then I'm going to start with just the top stripe and the very top of the box going in with red and my pattern is going to be red then white and then blue and I am going to give it enough time to completely dry in between coats. It did take two coats on everything for this because these crates are unfinished wood. They really suck up paint. And my brushes, I believe I picked up either from Hobby Lobby or possibly Michael's craft store. They are not from Dollar Tree, but I can't remember exactly where I got them. But I didn't pay more than probably $5 for a set of them. And what I'm doing whenever you see me using the very tip of the brush is in between those little stripes, there's like a little groove. I'm just making sure that I get my paint down into those little grooves so there's none of that unfinished wood showing underneath. So this is what it looks like after the first coat while it's still wet. Here is after the first coat was completely dry. You can see there are still some spots where you can see wood through it. So now I'm moving to the bottom stripe which is the blue. I'm trying to get my dark colors out of the way first, that way I don't get my white paint mixed in with them and end up causing the middle layer to be like pink or like a baby blue. So 
So here's what it looks like once all of the paint has had two coats and is completely dry. I really like how the colors turned out on this. They're nice and dark and sort of muted. So now I'm going in with this sticky backsplash tile. I'm just going to take it out of the plastic here and of course my cat Ginger thinks she has to be in on everything. So what I'm going to do on this is to really show that it is supposed to be a stack of books and not just a little crate, I decided it would be cute to make a couple of little book ends to put on the sides of this and also to cover those little holes that are there. So I'm going to find two pieces that are about the same height as the box. and try to make sure that they are both even, that way both sides look the same. It's kind of hard on these tiles because they are cut at different lengths, but I was able to find two that were really, really close. So I'm going to cut two pieces the size of the height of the box and then two of those little bitty pieces that you see on the side there. And those are going to be like the uh, bottom of the bookends. If you've ever seen a bookend, they're kind of like an L shape. So that's what we're going to try to make with this sticky tile. So I've picked out my two pieces. I'm just going to cut them out. And I did not cut on the black line that is between the tiles. I tried to cut as close to the wood grain as I could. That way it really looked like an actual little piece of wood holding the books together. The only thing is with this tile, it is like bubbled up. So once you cut close to it, and you'll see here in a second, the uh, back part of it will peel away. Don't worry about that. So long as you have the little flat side of it, it will still be held together. And that flat side is going to go to the top of the box. And your bottom part where it came apart is going to be glued to the bottom tile. So it's not a big issue. If you didn't want to mess with the sticky adhesive on the back at all, you could just completely peel that off and then just hot glue these pieces straight onto the crate. That's totally up to you. So now going in and cutting out my little bitty pieces that are on the very edge of the tile. And these are what are going to go on the bottom. And the way that they are going to be glued, the little flat part on these is going to sit perfectly on the bottom of my crate. So this is the general shape of how it should look once we're finished with it. Now I did mess up on this part and I tried to hot glue my pieces together first and then peel them apart. <laughs> which you'll see in a few minutes. But before I put my book ends on, I am going to go ahead and put my writing on. Now I don't, I don't have a die cutting machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette, so I am going to have to write by hand. I know my handwriting is not the greatest. <laughs> I'm sure I'll probably get some comments about it and So I am going to write Land of the Free on my books. And my little paint markers that I'm using for this came from Michael's Craft Store and I think I paid $5 for a set of like 18 of them or something. They turned out actually to be uh, pretty decent. They had um, some neon colors in there, some regular colors like your black, whites, and reds, and then they also came with some metallic like that gold marker that I just used and then a silver marker that I'm going to use here in a second. And I've had those for well over a year and none of them are dried up yet. So I was pretty happy with that. So now I'm going in with that silver marker at the bottom. And then on this part, I was doing good so far <laughs> for it being my handwriting. I did mess up on this word. And you'll see that here in a minute. I'll show uh, I accidentally got a little too much paint at the bottom and tried to wipe it off and ended up smearing it. 
so I had to go back in with my blue paint and just touch it up, but it ended up being fine. So there's my little oopsie at the bottom that I had to go back and fix. So now here is where I messed up and I had hot glued those pieces together and then tried to peel the back off and as soon as I peeled it they just came apart. So definitely hot glue them after you've gotten them on. So I'm sticking on the tall piece first. Then I'm trying to peel off those little pieces of hot glue that I had on the bottom part. And then what I'm going to do is actually put the glue on the crate itself and then try to line it up on that little piece of the sticky tile rather than trying to put it on the tile and then having it squish everywhere. So then once the glue has set up enough, this is what it should look like on the sides. I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So I was originally planning to use these star shaped stickers that I had on hand, but I really didn't like the way all of the glitter looked with the rest of the very rustic, like kind of country style colors. It just looked sort of out of place to me to have all that bright shininess on top of these really matte colors. So what I did was I decided to take that bendable berry garland that I had and just use that little star shaped sticker as sort of a template. And I just bent this into the shape of a star. And it reminds me sort of like those uh, rustic like grapevine stars that you can buy. And so then all I'm going to do is make two of these to put one on either of my bookends. So once I had it cut, I just twisted the two ends together on the point where uh, I ended the garland. You could also um, just hot glue the two parts together. It would be just as well. So this is what it looks like when you're finished. And then you want to make sure that all of the little berries that are on there are actually pushed to the front part of the star that's facing out. That way your garland part that you're going to be gluing will lay nice and flat up against the side of the crate and it won't be sticking out anywhere. So I'm just going to hot glue that on. And two, if you don't like the look of the berries on there or if they're being too much of a pain in the butt when you're trying to glue it down, you can just pluck those out of there and just use the uh, brown wrapped wire part of this to make your star. That would look good as well. So this is what either of my bookends looks like. The alternative to this would be to take those bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree mark them at one and a half inch intervals and then cut them and glue them together with the hot glue in the shape of a star. It turns out pretty cute. The only problem is this method is kind of a pain in the butt because they're round. They want to roll everywhere on you and trying to hold such tiny pieces and get them glued together is sort of a pain. But once you get it finished, this is what it will look like. It is cute as well. The only thing I don't like is just how tedious it is trying to get them together. And then of course you can really see the hot glue blobs. But you could paint it afterwards or maybe wrap that with some of that berry garland if you wanted to. I just went with the garland on mine. This is what it looks like finished. You can decorate the top with whatever you want. I took a little glass jar from Dollar Tree and then the tops of like some little baby's breath bushes from Dollar Tree and just clipped off a couple of pieces and that is how I will sit mine either on a tray or on a table. If you guys enjoyed this DIY or if you try it, please let me know down in the comments below. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to check out more of our videos. We will see you next time.